Hi, welcome to Exotic African Jewelry. My name is Precious. I'm the designer and the maker of our jewelry. And I'm affectionately known as PT. So if you text me or email me, you can call me PT, that's fine. And I want to apologize if you're seeing my legs in the um, video. It's because recently I had surgery and I have to do all my work on the floor right now. And this is much more comfortable than sitting in a chair and trying to videotape. Anyway, that's my explanation. So as we get started, like we said, we're going to make these African cowrie wooden earrings. And these are the materials that we're going to need. We need a standard ruler or a measuring tape, your preference. We need a pair of scissors. I'm using 0.5 millimeter brown cotton cord. You can use leather if you want. It's completely up to you. I prefer the cotton because the leather if, unless you treat the leather, then it can peel, and I don't like that. We will need a clipboard. Of course, we need the cowries, and mine are already drilled. And then we need the wood. I like this color combination. comes out very attractive. And, of course, we're going to need whatever your preference is in earrings, I'm using these bronze ones because they look good. The color of it looks very good together. And this little awl is just for being able to pierce through the wood. Sometimes my wood is, it's fresh, you know, so it comes from Africa and the holes are not perfect, so I just go ahead and finish off my holes that way. And then we'll use this in the end as well. So those are the items that we're going to need, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to measure off the amount of cord that we need. We need two pieces, approximately 12 inches long. So we measure and cut. I always say cut a little bit more, never less. I'm going to use my first piece to measure my second so that they're about even. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to use to get started, and of course I'm going to start with one earring hook. So we want to take our string, and we're going to loop it through the earring. They both should be able to go through there pretty good. We want to bring the cord so that it's about even, as even as possible. And we're going to take the earring and put it under the clipboard, secure that. Now we're going to be making some square knots. The way that we make square knots, I'm going to be referring to two pieces of string that are in the middle and two outer pieces of string. And I'll tell you if I'm working on my right or if I'm working on my left. So I'm going to start with the left and take the left string, put it over across the two in the middle. Take the right string, put it on top of the left string, bring it underneath the two middle pieces, and then through the left side. And I'm going to pull the two outer pieces pretty firmly. And this is half of my knot. To do, to complete the knot, we're going to use the other side. Start with the right side, cross over the middle. Take the left piece on top of the right. Bring it underneath my two strings. and pull it through the loop that was formed on the right side. And again, pull tightly, pull firmly on the two outer pieces. And that creates our first knot. Let's make it nice and tight. We're going to do another square knot, same routine. Left string on top of the two, right string over, under, and through, 
pull. Complete that knot, right string over the two middle, left string over, under, and through. Of course, you can make as many knots as you like. Just for demonstration purposes, though, we're going to start with those two. Then we're going to add our bead. So, again, we can use this just to make sure, use our tool to make sure the hole is wide enough. We're going to take the two middle pieces and we're going to feed our bead, feed it through the bead. I'm going to pull it all the way up and then we're going to do another square knot. Starting with the left side. We need to Make sure that the bead stays in the middle. So pull firmly and do our right side. We've made one square knot. Let's make another one. Again, starting with the left. Pull firmly, finish off that second square knot. Again, you can make this as long as you want. You can continue with the square knots. Now we're going to add our shell. And you want to use, just so you know, the end of the shell that has the wider opening. So not this end here, but the end where I'm feeding through. And I feed, actually, feed through my string is a little bit raveled, so I'm just going to snip it, make sure it has a nice sharp way to get in through the hole. And of course, you just feed it through a little bit until you can see it. And then you want to pull that up. There's a lot of different techniques to getting it to be um, firm at the top. I'm just going to say let's do another square knot. and. Well, I'm going to tie one knot here just for securing it with the two middle pieces. And I'm going to pull that cord underneath. And then we're going to do another square knot. Complete it on the right side. Mm -hmm. That goes under. Pull through. Now we have this fabric that is remaining. I'm just going to pull it over to the front and we're going to use that all again and literally push through into the cowrie. Some people may like that idea. <laughs> Up to you. I don't like things tickling my neck, so that's not my way of doing this, 
but I cut a bit down, cut off the excess, and then we're just going to tuck this in. You need something pretty sharp to be able to get all the fabric in there so it's not loose and scratching your skin. And that is a very nice, beautiful, simple cowrie, African cowrie earring with a nice wooden piece in the middle. Very gorgeous. Thank you. If you like what you've seen today, come back for more. We'll be showing you how to make, of course, other kinds of earrings, variations of this one. And as requests come in, I try my best to honor them. Please like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube and tell others about us. We're a new company. We love the support. I'm trying to get people interested in what we're making. And these are actually going to be part of a giveaway. So sign up our mailing list and maybe you'll win a pair. <laughs> Otherwise, you can also buy a pair on ExoticAfricanJewelry.com. Thanks for joining us.